A useful feature of the Mongo shell is that it can understand both Mongo commands and JavaScript. The shell itself is a JavaScript interpreter. Pre-written JavaScript files can be run from the shell, or JavaScript can be entered directly into the shell and run from there. Let's drop some JavaScript into the shell and see how this works. Okay, here is a quick script called event count, and what it does is assigns a count variable to the count of our events collection. It then assigns another variable called count record to a new JSON entity with an ID of date, current date, and an event count, which is assigned the value count, which is our variable from here. Then it saves our count record to a new collection called event count and prints out the value of that record. So let's see what happens when we run this function. It outputs events collection record count 4. And we know from our previous module when we did the import into our events collection, we put four entities into that collection. So our JavaScript works. This capability can make life really simple if you're a JavaScript guru and you have a lot of different activities that you simply want to script and then run here in the shell. If you have scripts saved to JavaScript files, you can simply run the name of the file that contains a JavaScript function and the function will run. Things like administrative tasks and data verification can be done simply through JavaScript, a convenience to keep in mind.